The pyramidal structures relate to the octahedron tetrahedron grid, which, you know, from the mathematics I wrote shows that space time is fundamentally geometrized that way at the Planck scale. So it's like, you know, from the Planck scale, from the fine scale of the structure of space time, like the pyramidal geometry, like emerge through biology right and um and actually some of the work that uh, alan green has been doing and we're going to meet with him next week with our research group has been remarkable where he's been able to find like something like 70 fundamental constants in the pyramid including the radius the proton i predicted like with very high precision um, and so basically, um, we are talking about like this shape being fundamental to the structure of creation. Um, and so that's why you find it in so many instances, including in the water molecule, you know, being tetrahedral and, you know, crystal silica and so on. And so you get this like geometric, a uh, relationship of various molecules that produce higher states of geometry and more complex geometry. Eventually you get this like, basically this huge antenna structure, right? Of like water and minerals, right? That like, are like a human being that is like transferring information to the crystalline structure and, you know, you were mentioning the water uh, fluids, um, you know, circulating through the pyramidal structure of the brain and all this. Yeah, this is like information transferred through the structure of space time. And, uh, and you know, all this is like give you a completely different view of existence you know, and your relationship to the universe and your relationship to space time and, and consciousness and where consciousness is, which is not necessarily something that's happening in the brain, but that the brain structure and geometry produces like a fractal antenna that is connected to a fundamental field. But I don't just mean a field outside, but I mean, the 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 field that's inside you mm -hmm. that you know you're made of mm -hmm. is you know being tapped right mm -hmm. like you all your atoms are made of 99.99999 percent space right mm -hmm. so the space that you're made of mm -hmm. is the information structure from which you're pooling information you know through all your structure and the neurons and you know the brain and you know the your skin the water in your body and all this is pulling information at different rate and at different states and so it produces this coherent behavior that generates all this you know um uh, uh organs and various things in your blood and all this all the chemistry and all this is very dynamic like people tend to think that the body is like a slow moving thing right and yeah. it's and it's not it's like it's like a hundred like this hundred trillion cell dividing at a million cell a second you know like you know billions uh, a thousand billion billion chemical change every second i mean like there's a really dynamic thing going, right? And that dynamic thing produces you. Um, well, that dynamic thing at the end is expressing something that you're calling your consciousness, right? Mm -hmm. But that expression can be this information network you call your consciousness organizing the field into this bodily fluid thing that you call your body, right?